Okay, so uh, just a little thing before I properly start this episode. Uh, I was uh, I ran back and did and healed, and I was doing some grinding for money, and I ran into Take Take after I spread the rumor that it would be at Kasukiyama High School. So I basically just wanted to uh, show that, because obviously it is a hilariously early game enemy, I think. So I basically just destroyed it effortlessly. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to go back to grinding for that money that I need for Flagship. Actually, so I can basically get the arm and everything before I start the episode proper. So I will be right back. Okay, now that I've done all the grinding I need for money and everything, I can proceed with the episode. So, welcome back. Last time we went to the abandoned factory and learned about the Nichiren and Maru, which is what we'll be doing today. But first things first, we need to talk to this guy and turn in Teke Teke's name tag. And they gave us a Sumo. Okay, we can get some use out of that. Now, I want to quickly run on over to Toa Defense. And grab two of these and three of these for 235,000. I like how my guy's just like, okay, go home. It's like, well, I'm buying armor so I can go and fight things though. Okay, now I want to head back to Alba. Actually, before I do that, I want to go to Narumi because there is one more thing I need to do here. So, if I talk to this guy, I talked to a fisherman and he told me about a red spectre thing offshore. I didn't know what he was talking about, but he was saying something about a cake. Uh, could it be the red cake who appears offshore? I want to see it. So, now, when we go on to Nichiren and Maru, we can find the red cake appearing. And that is kind of dangerous, and before I do anything else, I need to remember to go to Kismet, and see if I actually won anything last time. Well, from the previous dungeon. I probably didn't, I know my luck. But we'll see. Did we win anything? Absolutely not. Okay, so let's go and investigate again. So we have a couple more stops to make before we uh, head on over to where we need to be for today's episode. So first things first, I want to quickly head on over to Parabellum and buy a new weapon for Baofu. I want to get him the Mandala. Mostly just because, honestly, I mean, it's a default. It doesn't have any like special, it doesn't have any frills attached to it. But I do like the idea of him actually having, you know, damage. <laughs> you know, because uh, he's kind of falling miles behind a lot of people. Actually, Ulala is also kind of falling a bit behind. Actually, with that, Baofu now hits harder than anyone else does. But that's fine, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, I can also give everyone else their new armor. So that is very good, very helpful. Now, let's quickly get on out here and head on over to... I need to, okay, I have 100,000 as my budget to go into here for. So, let's go and pick up nine rattle drinks, just in case. I'll buy six bombs of life. I'll buy five onuses, four antidotes. And, uh, no, that's, that's a bit excessive. I'll buy 50 battle masters. And who knows, maybe I'll win something. I know me, I probably won't. Katia, what do you have to say? There may be a few voices of doubt to this news, but a few will listen to it. Uh, we must wait until everybody settles down. Okay, fair enough, Katia, whatever you say, buddy. Okay, now we can head on over to the... T now we can head on over to the detective agency, talk to Tamaki, and have the sweepstakes again. Probably won't win anything, and watch as now if we do, we get something for Biofu. And now we can spread the rumor that the red cake has appeared. And with that, we should be good to go. We should now finally be able to go. I will do a thing at Moo Continent eventually, but I will do that in between. But I'll do that as like a side thing, but not like once I've made a bit more progress with story, because the next two dungeons are like one after the other. So it'll be a few episodes from now. Okay, so if we go in here, it's like, hey, you can't leave until you clear it. So let's just do a final check. Because also on top of this, I do have access to, uh, whatchamacallit? No, I want the Tengu Maru. But I do know I have to fight more of those robots eventually. And honestly, having the Plasma Sword and Auto Equipped in the previous episode actually would have been greatly beneficial to me. Anyway, let's head on into the Yacht Arbor. And we can get we can get the Nichiren and Maru underway. Okay, so according to our sources, the Nichiren and Maru is ten kilometers off the coast of Sumaru Bay. 
It's come out as a cruise ship, but it seems the inside has been modified greatly. Okay, thank you, Matsuoka. The civil defense fault. So the Civil Defense Forces Troop 15 and part of the C Division are in his pocket. The government has finally realized it and the Public Safety Board and the Public Safety Board and the Defense Agency are, are trying to grasp the situation. This is taking too long. Uh, but what you try but what you are trying to do is not fit for the future heir to the Nanjo conglomerate. Nanjo has power. There are many ways to sink it, so please. That's why I must go. It's important for me right now to actually witness that power. It's not just something I can it's not something I can just inherit. I understand. Do as you wish. Okay. Uh Amano Sama, please look after K. So, off we go. Off we go on Nanjo's You know it's Nanjo's boat because it's like two for number one. Which, to be fair, is like Nanjo's entire deal. Because you know what? Well, he, 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 the, le the lessons Yamaoka gave him hold very close to Nanjo personally, you know? And what does Matsuoka have to say here? Yamaoka-san, the young master has grown up well, and it's all thanks to you and his friends. It's me. We're anticipating a confrontation. Collect data however you can. Erase any traces of the Nanjo name from this incident. Nanjo is clean. Okay, so I think we got a cutscene now. Nichiren Maru, Submarine Dark. Because obviously there's got to be submarines here. So what does Chizuru have to say? Uh, she's just gonna talk to a random soldier guy. Well, that is definitely a submarine, and that is Kandori right there. And that's Kandori waiting there. How are the old folks doing? Uh, they want the seal removed right away. They're, get they're getting a little impatient. Uh, Shinjo sama. No, Kandori sama. There's something I want to ask you. Why would someone as great as you be controlled by one such as Tatsuzo-sama? Do you despise him? Because you're a woman? That sh certainly was a dialogue choice there, Kandori. Uh, you should exterminate the old order and become leader. You must lead us. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, your only concern is with them and that boy of the paradox. Why are you so obsessed with them? I, I mean, he has his reasons. You know, definitely not related to Persona 1 at all. Heh. <laughs> you underestimate me. Well, that sounds like an explosion or something, or an earthquake or something, but we're on the, the sea. The paradox. All the players are in place. Let's go. Onto the submarine they go. And I think we got a cutscene here. Okay, so Chizuru and Kandori are already out here by the time we even arrive. Well, I guess the rest of my party works fast. And then Ulala doesn't, because, you know, she doesn't have a gun or anything. Okay. 
by my count, Maya has now killed, like, four people. I know it's a life or death situation, but it's kind of wild that Maya has killed, like, four or five people. Looks like your little brother's raising some hell. I mean, he ain't wrong. He doesn't look it, but he's quite violent. Once he's enraged, there's no stopping him. Okay, so, can we... What the hell is going on around here? Uh, either way, he's going to be ahead of us at this rate. Let's get going. So, what does everyone have to say here? An Aegis, an Aegis vessel is meant to look like a cruise ship. How stupid. No sense of money. A Vatatia Akun is unbelievable. He came all the way here by himself. Tatia, what makes you this way? This way? Why won't you tell us what's going when you're on? Sorry, wh why won't you tell us what, what's going? I I read it right the first time. Well, why won't you tell us what's going on? Am I that lousy of a brother? And what does Baofu have to say? Uh, you saw a submarine go down before, right? There is another one just like it. Don't I don't know if Tatsu's is on it, but that's the only way to go after him. Okay, so on to the deck we go. Oh, so. I remember kind of liking this dungeon for the most part, but I also don't remember a massive amount about it. I do remember that these guys were in the abandoned factory and they, they are no too light, but I can hit- oh, ah, oh, that's just great, isn't it? They're technically different types of enemies. Yeah, because they're Tenchu uh, Hekians and they're Tenchu Muchizukis, so they're going to be Oh, just a little bit of an annoyance, aren't they? So why don't I just cut out the middleman and hit them with a tidal wave? And then Ulama and Nanjo can just hit them. Okay, you know what? I'm probably going to massively inconvenience myself here. Okay, these things... These, okay, those guys actually do some damage, not going to lie. Well, they, well, they do some damage. Too bad for them, I do more. Well, Mark, really, my party does more. And Ulala goes up level 37. I should pro- I should really, like, try to give her something better to do. Because honestly, like, she is currently there for perhaps my least usable party member, like, in the entire series. Wait, can I negotiate with these guys? I, I think... Katsia negotiates well with these guys? I don't remember. But I remember negotiating with these things a lot in my first playthrough. Okay, I made it eager and angry, so let's try Baofu. Uh, how, how does it react to why I tap him? With anger, apparently. Okay. Um, okay, Nanjo. Nanjo, you got this, buddy. Tell him about the education system and how it's winning. I just made it mad. Okay. So, uh, let's just try regular normal attacks and see how that goes. Okay, it's weak to gun, so that's good to know. So I guess ranged attacks work. And destroyed, 485. Big damage from cats here. But then again, that's kind of on brand. That's just, a, that's just how Mr. Suo rolls. Okay, well, there's an elevator here. Uh, let's go down a floor. I'll be honest, I don't think I actually used the elevator in the first playthrough, but, okay, passengers cabins here. I think on the other side of this place, there is a velvet room and Trisha's fountain. I know that there's definitely one around here somewhere. Yo, what is this thing? That's just a python, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It just, it looks so cool from that side. Let's see if this works. Investigation. Scan. Will this work? Oh, okay, that worked. Let's hear your alibi first. Okay, let's... Can I... If I can get happiness out of this, I can get a lot of cards here. But I don't know how to get the happiness stat out of it. Let's try the other way around. No, because she's going to insist on doing this herself. Does it want to work? No, but that did get eagerness out of it. And... Uh, let's try... Nanjo, Katia, and, and Maya. Shooter, why not? Let's see if this works for it. 
That just made it mad. Okay, good to know. And I just made it double mad. Okay, that did not quite work as I'd hoped. That was also a lot of damage. So, let's hit them with... No, it, okay, they resist Earth, so let's hit them with that. Then hit them with the... No, wait, holy really light doesn't do anything. Uh, I think these things were weak to fire, right? Oh, right, Nanjo has bad affinity with it. Never mind. Back to your base persona, Ananjo. Uh, I guess you can just punch it. Oh, yeah, these things were weak to... Yeah, they were weak to that. So let's just hit them with that. Then Baofu can Ludo a power. And Maya can, uh, can patch everyone else up because everyone took a little bit of damage. And we should be good to go from here, I think. Perfect. That's pretty bad, though. That's actually the That's actually awful for me. But then again, I can deal with poison. But I do want to keep... But I definitely want to try to keep uh, away from having to use antidotes, though. Because obviously, I did not really factor in how many enemies in here would use poison. I mean, I say that. I say that like it's been a very frequent thing. It's been one enemy type. Okay, so. Now that I fought these, I can see what they're weak to. They are weak to Earth and Gun. Fortunately for me, I have a lot of Earth damage available. So, Nanjo, also hit them with the Earth. Katia, uh, just do an attack. Maya, just do an attack. And Baofu, just do an attack, I guess. Uh, no, wait, Nanjo, you, you used Earth. Perfect. Basically, I'm gonna let Maya and Baofu go down. Like, it'll go, you know, a little slowly, but I'm gonna let them go down just to get rid of the poison. Because I think, uh, the other... Okay, I guess I'll use an antidote on Maya. Okay, I'll put Strength, Vitality, Dexterity, and uh, I guess I'll just use an antidote for her now, rather than just let her go down. Because that would take a while. Now, I all So what I think I'm gonna do is investigate this kind of basement. Not basement, but like this lower floor for now. And then work my way back up. Actually, no way, I think you have to go down through the bowels of the ship. So I don't actually know. Uh this may go pretty badly. Let's try Katia and Nanjo for this. Let's let's have a conversation about justice. I will say, uh, I do remember kind of liking this. Like I kind I remember kind of liking this dungeon. Personally, I think maybe Atlas are just really good at making dungeons that are on ships. You know, I think there might be. Wait, that worked. I can get happiness out of this thing, which means I can negotiate successfully with this thing from now on. I'll make a pact with it. And I'll get rid of one of Commander. Perfect. Uh, I also know of one, I think it's with a Leviathan, that I will definitely want for the next dungeon. However, I need to figure out what makes, what is eagerness for these. So let's try Katia, then I'll try Nanjo, then I'll try Biofu. Does this work? Does it work? Okay, Nanjo just scared. No, uh, Katia just scares them. How do they respond to Baofu? Baofu also scares them. I'm gonna lose the pack here. That made it mad, okay. Goodbye. Okay, let's try Maya and Ulala working together for it. Will this work? Well, it kinda works. Actually, maybe I can get a room out of it. Okay, uh, give me information. Stim- Stimphalids? Okay, hiding a spell called Dangerous Garula. Good information to have. I love how it's not just Garula, it's Dangerous Garula. Okay, so now I know that there is a floor down from here. So, let's, uh, continue to kind of just check it out. Alright, there's also a stairs there, okay. I'll be honest, I remember liking this dungeon. I don't remember how to navigate it particularly well. Okay, let's try Baofu and Nanjo. 
that didn't work okay let's next time i'll try nanjo and maya i think uh actually no i'll try katia and baofu maybe they'll work investigation of terror uh i'm time of the incident oh no that didn't quite go as i planned but okay Okay, let's try uh, this one. Why are tapping is a crime? No, I just made it scared. Okay, uh, let's let's try this. Okay, no, Nanjo has taken this, and it's gonna break my pack and run away. I think. No. Uh, maybe these two. No, this is not gonna work. Actually, maybe I should just get dangerous Garula. No, I shouldn't. Let's try this. Costing a fortune. Does this work? I hope it does. Does it? No, I just made it mad. Okay, I guess I'll have to get that contact. That contract. Contact, contract back. Sorry, the pact. A magic power magatama. Okay. So that gives me one cast of Maka. Uh. Maka Kaja, I think? Okay, I think Maya worked on these ones for eagerness, so let's get this out of the way. So, Maya can just get me 50 more lovers cards here, and if I can find my way to the Velvet Room, which I think... Wait, I think the Velvet Room's on the first floor. Uh, can I go elsewhere on this floor for now? I can, I think. So, let's go and check that out, I suppose. Also, I should probably just let an actual fight happen so Baofu can finally drop. Okay, I need to go along here. No, that's a dead end. So it's along here. And... Uh... Along... It's along... No. I am so bad at reading these maps sometimes, it's not even funny. Okay, let's go for Malakwas, we'll go for Acid Rain, and we'll go for Magarula. And honestly, if these guys can't see Personas, they're going to be so worried. It's just like, why is there just suddenly Acid Rain? What am I getting hit by? Okay, perfect. Bofu went down. Great. That is exactly what I needed. I say that and it sounds vaguely sarcastic, but I'm not lying. That is actually what I needed. Okay, I want to go up here and along. No, it's along here. And this should be where I need to be now. Because I can go down here and investigate. Okay, that fills out that section of map. Okay, I didn't need to go there at all. Down and down, I'm great at this. Okay, what are you weak to, buddy? Uh, they are weak to dark and nothing else. So we'll do normal attacks and biofu. We'll just cast Mudo, and we'll hopefully just kill them. Maybe I should actually use Gandava, because Gandava also has Mudo. And honestly, I should probably try to just teach something to you, because I know that in the next dungeon I have to fight, fight more of those robots as bosses. And it's, and it's more than just one that time. But I think it's weaker overall. I might be wrong, but honestly, I... It's like... I may be wrong, but honestly, I'm kind of going from memory, because I only played this game once, and that was last year. And do you have any weaknesses, guys? No, but they are pretty neutral to everything, so let's hit them with that AoE. You know, because if anything, we are always just hitting them with that AoE. Also, I will say... Just visually, I think Venichiro in Mario is a really cool looking place. Like, I don't know, uh, like, yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's made to look like a cruise ship, so I get some areas looking kind of the same. But, like, I don't know, I kind of like it. I think this, is this my favorite dungeon in the game? Probably not, but I think it's still a good one. Okay, let's go down here, just fill out the map a bit more. And there's the elevator. So let's check out this side. Oh, there's flowers here. Cool. That's a nice little detail. Okay, we found, we found more Hoenias. Great. 
So, let's have Ulala handle this again, because we know that gets them towards eagerness. But then I need to... No, that gets them towards happiness. But then I need to figure out how to get them towards eagerness. Because, I'll be honest, I don't remember how to do it. Uh, but hey, we got the pact, so that is very good. And I can also now spread the rumor about dangerous Garula. And I can also almost leave this floor, because I'm almost done with it. You know, because I like to just investigate places. And since I haven't spread the rumor, I don't think they can use dangerous Marquis yet. Why is Baofu facing the other way? And also, why does it look like he's stuck? Wait, he's on near full health. Also, what does Mafui do? Ah, oh, whatever, I'll figure that one out in a bit. Now, where are those stairs? Oh, they're all the way back over there, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Back we go. Uh, it's along here. It's along here, down. Turn, turn, I love actually navigating. I'm bad at it, but I like navigating. Okay, these two, let's try it. Hit them with the advice. Well, hit them with the, the advice. So I guess by giving advice. Okay, that makes it happy and angry, so, uh... Let's try these two. A special report. An interview with 1K Nanjo. Well, it worked. Okay, so let's just run that back, and we should get a whole bunch of cards, I think. Because now we get 48 star cards and 36 free tarot cards. Which is perfect. Because I'm going to need a lot of those because I don't have access to a whole lot of... Because basically I would quite like to be able to get some Emperor Personas. However, I don't think I've seen any Emperor enemies in a good while. So obviously some Arcanas are going to be rarer than others. So uh, yeah, I would like to just manage some that way. And also, because of that, it means it's just a little bit easier for me to work around with a few things. Okay, we also got 50 Lovers cards. Nice. I might try to see how I can get the happiness stat to tick up for them as well. Because they get 50 cards at a time, and that is kind of big. Uh, let's go over here. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to check out every layer on every floor, but still. So, let's go for area of effect damage, because Because you know me, love me some AoE. I think that... I think I could probably just use that as a slow dip. Because honestly, I do be using I am using a lot of area of effect moves. Like, love me that AoE. Also, maybe I should just negotiate for any here, but honestly, you know what? We've been at using violence so far, so we might as well just stick with it, I guess. And also, you know, it's probably not as fun if I just negotiate with every single demon I run into. Okay, so let's quickly patch up everyone with Mediorama, back to full health, and away we go. Okay, the stairs up there. Okay, so... Like, now I have note of where that is. Honestly, I'm pretty okay with just knowing where the things are, just for now. And let's hit him with Earth. And hit him with wind, I suppose. And this honestly might kill him in one turn. However, I am also fully aware that yes, Ulala is absolutely the like, weak link of the team right now. Like, she isn't particularly strong, she isn't particularly tough. Like, she's like, I know, like her stats all seem to naturally go to what like her stats seem to naturally go towards agility. And like, yeah, cool, she'll move fast, but, like, she doesn't hit hard, and she doesn't hit, and she doesn't take hits well. So, less ideal, you know? On the plus side, we can just destroy these now. Oh, because this will destroy them. And, no, not quite, but there we go. Malakwas finishes them off. I do love Malakwas. I honestly kind of like the water moves. I mean, realistically, they're, like, functionally, they're the same as all. Functionally, they are exactly the same as the Bufus, the Zeos, the Argies, and the Garus and such of the world. 
Have I finished off this floor? Not quite, but I've done most of it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll contact these satyrs. Let's try Katsia and Guala. Let's see, does this work? I'll be totally honest, does it? No, but that makes it eager. Okay. Let's try, I'm gonna try this one the other way around. No, okay, she's gonna handle it herself. And I don't think that's gonna work. If I made it eager for her, okay. Are Satan's just easy to negotiate with in this game? Okay, so let's go along here. We found the stairs again. So I can find my way back down. Do these things always have barriers around them? Oh well, it's not going to make any difference because I can still just destroy them. Uh, okay, I just scared them. You got to know that Atatia's name terrifies these things. Fortune telling is harmless. She says, knowing that one of the main antagonists we're going after is a fortune teller. But hey, we got 40 more tower cards, so that's kind of nice. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I, I am going to navigate my way... Uh, I'm going to navigate my way back down, I think, and then I'll try... What I'll do is I'll navigate my way to the Velvet Room. And then I'll end off today's episode, I think. But obviously, that request, that is highly reliant on how long it will take me to find the Velvet Room. Because I know it's on here, I know it's in this kind of general area. But I know it's on one of these three floors, but will that take me five minutes? Will it take me twenty? Who knows? Your guess is as good as mine. Because honestly, I am pretty good at getting lost here. But hey, on the plus side, I don't feel like I'm drastically under-leveled anymore. If anything, I feel like I might be a little over-leveled. Oh, wh what's this? A, a Magnadine card. Okay, I'm gonna keep a hold of that. Okay, so... Let's head up these stairs. Because we did see a staircase up, so let's head up and see what we can do from there. So, let's try the other side of the negotiation I went for. But apparently Ulala does not want to work with cats here. Just let- just work together. Work together, you two. Be friends! Okay. Okay, that worked. Let's try these two. Will this work? Like, th these two might work together. No, I just made it mad. And partially eager. So I, I guess I'll have Maya come in and view it, just for safety. And hey, 50 cards is 50 cards, you know? Okay, it is... This is where I need to be. Perfect. No, this may not be exactly where I need to be, but you know what? Uh, okay, that takes me back down. I think the velvet room is on the other floor. I think it's on the base... I think it's on the basement floor. I don't know why, though. Like, it might be, but I'm... Like, I don't know, I, part of me thinks it is, but I also have my severe doubts about that. Either way, I'm just gonna make my way there, and Katia gets another level up. That man is becoming... Oh, there it is. I found... Well, I found the Velvet Room, and also Trisha's Fountain. So, I guess now that I've found... Actually, I'll go into one. I'll go into one of them, so I can at least find my way back. I guess I should finish off this floor. I'll finish off this floor and then I'll end off the episode, I think. And then I might be able to get both. Of, then I might be able to finish this dungeon of the next episode and bring those two to probably be about 40 minutes each, I think. Again, don't quote me on that. I am wildly guessing. Because this is also working on the assumption that I remember where to go. I guarantee I will mess this up at least once. Okay, Malaklas does a turn, that finishes off the wing flap and kills those off. Perfect. Great job, team. Good job, team. Get ready for the next round. I say that, I say that like the meme, but I'll be honest, in my time playing Call of Duty, I never liked Search and Destroy. It was never my, it was never my game mode. Uh, like, I know. Like, if I liked Search and Destroy, I would probably like Counter-Strike. And I don't like Counter-Strike. Like, like, no, like, 
anime I've just never been able to really get into. I've never found a particularly fun or interesting to watch. Like, I can fully acknowledge, like, that it's super popular and I can kind of see why. But, like, I don't know, I've just never really gotten into Counter-Strike a whole bunch. Okay, Ulala has managed to hit level 38. So that's good. Okay, I found the elevator on this floor. So, let's just finish off this floor, loop back, and I'll get to the Velvet Room and end off today's episode. So, finish off these birds. That didn't do all that a lot. Uh, yeah, I switched away from using a second Earth ability. Oh, well, that finishes the alarm. Perfect. Away we go. Also, I, I've i mentioned, like, four or five times how Ulala is, like, the least useful party member right now. But with the amount of Vs that I'm running into, she's actually kind of doing a lot. Anyway, with this... Okay. Maybe this time. Take three. Do you two want to work together? No, they do not. Like, yeah, I'm sure you can handle it, but it's not what I want you to do. I need you two to work together. Okay, maybe this will work. Okay, no, I just like it. Nadjo, you handle it. No way, that worked. Okay, perfect. Let's just go for this. I like how Nanjo is just like, I don't care. <laughs> he, is, he is very disinterested in this. Okay, so. Okay, so I'll make a pact. Now, we can break one of Gandava. Because, well, we won't be seeing Gandava again because it is level 23 demon and we are up into a, uh, having enemies in here like high level 30s. And we have now looped around perfectly, so let's keep going. And now I can successfully just negotiate with all of these setters. And they can give me a whole bunch of cards. Which means I will be able to hopefully get all of those other personas that I want. I will be doing this a lot off screen. And to be getting just various cards at some point, because I will want to get some certain personas before I get to the end of the game. There's also a couple coming up in a few levels time that I very much want to have. Um, so, uh, that should... Okay, so now I just have to take the central corridor, and then we should be good to go. And I forget what worked towards eagerness for these. You know what, that'll be fine. Because now I can just uh, get happiness out of this thing. I can get happiness out of this thing, thing, and that way I can spread the rumor about dangerous Garula. Will that come back to- Will that come back and shoot me in the foot? Who it. knows? It might. I know me. It probably will. But hey, we will spread a rumor about that and get dangerous Garula. Now, will that be helpful to me? Hopefully. Will it actually be useful to me? Probably not. Will it come back and inevitably, like, hit me with- Will it come back, hit me with Dangerous Garula and just, like, insta-kill someone? I'm not going to say yes, but I'm also not going to say no, because honestly, I don't know what it does. It's entirely possible that that will happen. And I know my luck. Chances are, it will happen. Either that or it's an ironic name that actually sucks and does nothing. Okay, so, uh... I guess I'll just do the same thing again. Back was absolutely good to go down there because I forgot to do a thing. Never mind, because they don't they don't seem too interested in, in attacking all Biofu. I say as they immediately attack Biofu. And they are it's immune to gun and that. So it's immune to three of my five party members. So I guess it's time to use magic. Because why not? So we'll just uh, hit it with the Bufula, just for a little, just for fun. Hit it with the Acid Rain, and hit it with the Malakwas, and this thing is turbo dead. And one, two, three. No, we don't need the, we, we do not need the Fortune Spell. Actually, the Fusion Spell could have been handy there, actually. Because it would have been used together, and then I might have been able to get a bonus towards Maya Prime. But whatever, it doesn't make all that much of a difference. And now this floor is cleared out. So let's quickly head on back and head to the Velvet Room. I'm going to head to the Velvet Room, save the game, and actually I'm going to heal first. 
I will heal. I had to head to the Velvet Room, heal, and save the game to end off today's episode. Okay, so, today we managed to start the Nietzsche in Maru, and next time we'll be making our way through more of the ship and maybe finishing it. I don't remember how long this dungeon is. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to end this one off here. Feel free to leave a comment and click any of the buttons down below if you feel so inclined, and I will hopefully see you all in the next one. Okay, thanks for watching. Later.